Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim with your next 48 hour reading. I hope you're doing really good. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you, the people who have gotten private readings. Also, I enjoy doing those. So it's kind of doing me a favor in more ways than one to be able to do those. They're, they're a lot of fun for me. So burning some white sage, some very nice fragrant white sage for your reading. Here, let's get the phone. Okay, so we're going to start always by um, calling in your spirit guides and your angels, Leos, so that we get messages that's for your most high. Um, I'm going to do a Celtic cross today. Well, that's the plan. You know how that works. Some Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then we're going to start with this animal, um, animal spirit oracle. I don't know, it's a weird name. <laughs> spirit animal oracle. Yeah. Get something from this first. Let me get the book so I can say it the right way. The spirit animal oracle. Yeah. Spirit animal oracle. Messages for Leo, please. Next 48 hours. Messages for Leo. And I have oil paint all over my hands and stuff still. If you see, if you notice, my hands are not turning blue, but I did use blue paint last, last night. So, and it, of course, it's still on me. All right. Okay, dropping into our heart space here, Leo. Messages for Leo, please. Messages for Leo. Spirit guides, angels, please give us messages for Leo that are clear and concise. Always meant to help them ascend and expand. What do we got? Well, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. 52. Kind of like that high priestess number. Um. Or in another deck, there's another deck that it's an oracle deck that the energy oracle. Um, Scarab Beetle Spirit magic works through you. Magic works through you. And 68 Wombat Spirit be at home. Be at home. So let's take a look at these here, Leo. Let me get into them a little bit deeper. The 52 is the Scarab Beetle Spirit. You know, that reminds me of, I don't know if it was WoW that I used to play, that they used to have these big scarabs that you would kill in the desert. I think it was. All right, this is coming out here to say... Um, it says, do you doubt your inner magic? Um, this Beatles message is that creativity is a life force that comes to all of us from spirit and wants every person on the planet to manifest magic and co-create with the world anew. You are as capable of resilience and innovation as anyone. And if you do what you've always done, then you're going to get what you always got. So draw inspiration into your being and create something playful, something new, and whatever you create, do so without judgment. Yeah, and, and that's true with just about anything you do, especially with my paintings. I can't, um, every painting that I've tried to plan <laughs> out, never works. It never works. It always ends up being, <laughs> I always end up turning it into something completely different. Um, so there's something to that. There's something to spontaneity and, um, like that impulsive, just doing it, just being creative. That is, there's something to that, I think. And I think Leo's are pretty spon spontaneous. All right, now this one, Wombat Spirit, you know, if you, if you think about um, be at home, it, 
the message home is where the heart is. That's what usually comes to mind. Um, <clears throat> but the wombat basically burrows down into a hole where they're very safe and sound. And it is a special trait of the wombat to be with family, well-fed, deep, safely in the ground. <laughs> So, <clears throat> Wombat Spirit reminds you to be at home in the world that you're in, doing, by accept, doing this by accepting your experiences without judgment here. Yeah, it says, could it be that you're not feeling comfortable in your own skin, thinking that the only way you could be with others is to hide under the protection of a mask or identity you created to protect yourself from getting hurt? This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but it really just robs you of your integrity. So the Wombat Spirit is here to tell you to drop the false mask because it's not others who, who will hurt you now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you're not being completely 100% authentic. So about being authentic. And some of you, it's going to be a literal, like be at home. It's going to be literal for that message too. All right, that's up there, right? Okay, let's use Lexier's tarot for your um, tarot spread, Leo. <clears throat> oh, I think I have a better placement for these cards. good here we go for Leo messages do you have for Leo time and then we'll cut them. That's nice. That's nice to see. The world is always a good card for, well, really anybody to get. Um, it's embarking on something completely new. The the snake here, that's, you know, that death and rebirth cycle. Um, so you could feel like there's a shedding of the skin somehow. There's something that's going to be um, transformed into this, like, completely new experience for you. So you could be talking about those fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio. Could be. It doesn't have to be. Those are just the ones that relate to this um, card. But... Yeah, so I would say there's something that's like part of your destiny, part of fate that's going to turn. Um, the Seven of Wands is like, you know, be prepared to stand up for this. Be prepared to fight for something if you want it. And if you want it, you'll have to be bold and go after it, which is kind of what I was getting with that Wombat Spirit. Um, talking about being your authentic self, it's kind of reminding me of, of Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. I have try not try not to make those noises, but jeez. Well, that's better. I always like it when the future is popping up as better, right? Oh goodness. All right. Let's figure out why and let's go ahead and clarify. So you have some really good cards. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> immediately, it's, um, immediately it's, it's coming across as disappointment in something, <laughs> disappointment in something. Um, ultimately some kind of happiness with the money situation. So the money is, it, it is appearing to go really good here. 
The Ten of Wands, you know what's weird is it's good. The Ten of Wands here, now bear with me, I know I'm jumping around, but I'm going to read it as it's coming to me. Um, in the spot for how you are feeling, I don't know if this is what, whether you're dealing with like a group of people, like if you're group dealing with gossip or if you're dealing with people who, um, somebody who may have betrayed you with the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, the Ten of Wands is kind of like, I've done all that I could here. You may be feeling like get packing your bags and moving. I mean, the Light Sears Tarot makes it look like you're picking your crap up and you're, you're on your way. You've done all you could here. Let's go on to the next place. So it's almost like, um, it's action oriented, but it's also the car where, you know, they're almost on the regular, uh, original tarot. He's almost home, right? So, so we're going to figure this out. Maybe you have a headache. Maybe that's the main issue right now. It's a headache. Um, Five of Swords as main issue. What's this about? Oh. How are you going to get move? How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Okay, so there's a de there's a destination in sight with this chariot. There's a place that you want to go to. You know you want to get there. It's a good destination. Possibly feeling like you should have been there already might be part of the disappointment or mm, just the journey in itself. We might have not thought that there was going to be this much um, conflict or we might have chosen some way that is proving to be very, very much so struggling. It might feel like struggling, especially in the mind, especially mentally, right? The Two of Swords is the challenge. Hmm. Okay. So the Chariot is telling you, you, you can't stay here. You've got to move on from this. You're a fixed sign, Leo, but you've got to move on from this. Uh, and there has to be some change. Some um, There's going to be something that we have to make our decision up. It might have to do with the commitment that we're currently in from the past. It may have to do with something that we were very committed to in the past, but something that just didn't, I don't know, right here, the Two of Swords is suggesting that uh, there's a stalemate, there's a block, we're not getting past, it's something that's causing some arguing or, or conflict within ourselves, causing a headache as to like, how can I get here? How can I get here? How can I get to this point? How can I be victorious or get to this point? And it, I don't know. I feel like it has to do with this Three of Cups energy, too. So that could be Cancerian energy. What's the Three of Cups about in the reverse? The Nine of Wands. Something that, okay. If you end up being the one that this is about disappointing somebody. We have Aquarius energy up here, but it's in the reverse. So the star is like, you're going to have to rewrite, rewrite the way you do something. There is a feeling, somebody, it feels like somebody feels like because you haven't gotten to where maybe you said you would get, that there's this feeling of like a betrayal to somebody. This could be gossip, it could be friend betrayal, it could be family betrayal, it could be where we feel like a family member has betrayed us or something. But the Nine of Wands is like, well, I haven't given up yet. Um... There is something that's really disappointing. Um, it feels like friends will go, go friends will come. Um, but I think that the message to you is just no matter what people feel, no matter what anybody says about your situation, like that's totally irrelevant. Y your persistence uh, is what's going to be the game changer. You not giving up is... Um, is more important than other people's opinions and thoughts on this. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's the main message here. And then we have Cancer Energy too, again, and Sagittarius. And then of course we have Aquarius here and Aquarius at the outcome. So, <clears throat> so the challenge is to make a decision and then start moving forward. Um, 
there's something that uh, it, it does feel like it's a headache because we post we've postponed something. Um, that's what it feels like. Let's see. What's the lovers here in the past energy? What's this about the lovers in the past energy? The King of Cups. Well, it, it could be something at one time. It could be a new person. It could be a um, crossroads where in the past you had to learn about your mood and maybe there was a focus on your mental health and stability and maybe there was a focus on making really good, wise decisions. And this is representing good decisions made in the past. But now it's like now we've come to a point where you must go through a pass, right? And so in order to go through this, there's going to have to be a decision. There has to be a, okay, I've done all I can do here, picking it up and going somewhere else. Now, the reason I say it doesn't really matter what others say is because I see you pulling in the Knight of Pentacle energy in the future, which is great, Leo. That's like, I'll show you. I know you think I, I didn't come through for you or whatever this is, whatever disappointment this is. That might still be there, but you have the potential to really pull through. And um, the Knight of Pentacles is like pulling through, but not just pulling through. It's it's um, showing up as reliable, dependable, uh, somebody who can really make money too. We can say that the money is going to come pretty easy here. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles is in your environment out in the other in the other issue here in your environment is the seven of swords okay so the seven of swords plus this challenge the two of swords is the nine of swords all together we don't know what to do regarding an issue that has to do with maybe lying cheating stealing it maybe has to deal with um some kind of cover-up of some sort um or, or just some sneaky behavior. This may be the thing that we're trying to get away from. And this might be the, like, I don't know how to do something. I don't know how to go about something. I don't know how to find my solution. This, to me, is somebody that did it to you. Is what it feels like. And it feels like you're just disappointed in that person. So, look, if, the, if this deceptive energy is here with the Seven of Swords, never knowing when something is the truth or not, I think that's why you decide to get all your stuff and, and say, okay, well, that's going to help me make this decision. This roadblock is what has happened here recently to you. Because it will help you. There's a huge opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles for more growth. Um, and the money, like I said, the money looks really, really good. There's just an issue. There's an issue you need to get past something. Maybe you need to get past other people's disappointment in something because it's not, um, you know, it might be what's holding you back. What's the Seven of Swords energy? Judgment in the reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles. You're still waiting. Possibly people are waiting. This could be either way. But somebody's waiting to be forgiven. Somebody's waiting not just for an apology. Somebody is waiting to be forgiven and to be given a second chance. That energy is looking right like this. So it's, it's like the star energy, the hopes, the fears, the, the good things. I mean, not fears. Why did I say that? This is the hopes and fears. The star, the, the hopes, the dreams, the hope renewed. That's all. Um, it feels like that's connecting with the Seven of Swords. Your ability to be disconnected from this Seven of Swords energy it, it is hinging on forgiveness here, but you got to start with yourself. You have to start with you. You have to start with forgiving you. That's the biggest message here because it's tying it. So this judgment is saying, look here, this is exactly what's, what's keeping these connected. It's your own feelings and thoughts on it. So 
there will be a completion. You feel probably pretty tired, pretty worn out. Uh, done a lot of heavy lifting, maybe even behind the scenes, done a lot of heavy lifting that others might not even see. All right, let, let's see here. And Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom, so I feel like this card gets things to work. Like this forgiveness, something like that. And, and letting go of past disappointment so that you can move forward without bringing that disappointment energy with you. Clarify the Ten of Wands for us. Okay, the magician in reverse. Okay, so in order for your manifesting abilities to, it feels like in order to get into the flow here with the magician energy, you will have to leave something behind. It may even really be physically. It might be saying actively. You will have to you have to think about how you move leave something behind. Even though we may be attached to something here. And there you go. There's the be at home again. And I, I'm feeling like this. So this disappointment or betrayal, whatever happened, you're holding it. You're holding it and it's causing a blockage to your full manifestation abilities, which are very heightened right now. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. Let go of the disappointment. All right, four, what is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? What is this attachment that we're letting go of? There's the Guardian of Wands. So that's the Queen of Wands energy. Letting go of the false mask. Letting go of the persona. Letting go of any um, timid-like behavior. And and being bold, daring, and just going forward. And um, you know, not being attached to any kind of outcome or persons, for that matter. Uh, be at home. Home is where the heart is. All right, so I definitely think that that judgment in reverse, it, you know, forgiveness and second chances, uh, that's what's going to help this star energy out. So tell us more about this um, star energy in reverse. I have the king of wands. Now I got the, wow, that's nice. So that's your energy, Leo. That's your ability to succeed, especially once we put all that stuff behind us. Um the King of Wands is successful. I would say even decisive. You know, and is motivated by the passion. Um, is viewed by others as uh, intelligent, attractive, maybe good with money, good with finances. And of course, this is indicating good with finances. And then there's the new beginning on the bottom. The full energy. So this is good. This is really being in your power. To really be in your power and to attract more of this um, pinnacle, safety, security, money, material, um, wealth here is to let go of the hurt and the disappointments. I mean, very simple message, but that's what it is. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this wonderful Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Guardian of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, see? So all things motherly and uh, pentacle-wise are coming together as successful here. I love that. Nice. Guardian of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy. Beautiful. Also, might be a Virgo or Capricorn energy here too. This might be Aries. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles energy. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking that there's Capricorn, um, not this, <laughs> right here, the devil energy, Capricorn. Um, that might be keeping a tie on to trying to make you feel a certain way. And that will try to sabotage you. So the strength is needed. Your own card, your own confidence is needed. Um, 
ma making sure that we don't get sucked into too many materialistic issues or our addictions or vices, that can be an issue too here. Um, so materialism and putting that first. So always be at home, put that before uh, the money and things like that. I think that's what they're, that's, that's what they're saying here, Leos. <laughs> so that's what I got for you guys. This is a good reading. It's kind of long, but it's a good reading. Let's do, um, so an angel number message and then some timing cards to wrap this up. Angel number message for Leo. I am inspiring and that's exactly what this King of Wands is. 21. I am inspiring. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged and it reveals in itself everything you do from your most sparkling conversation to your prize projects. I am inspiring. So with these timing cards, I mean, you can either think of a situation for each one or you can just uh, pick a card for the timing of your specific situation. Um, we will do four. So there's one, two, three, or four. One, I have four years. Two, I have nine months. You know what that means usually. 12 days for number three and nine years for number four is what I've got. All right, sending you love and light. Check me out on TikTok too if you want the Oracle of the Day. Bye, Leo.